Hello, uh, welcome to today's update. Today is Thursday, the 30th of April, which means it's the last day in April. So Liz, come and join me because it gets lonely towards the end of April. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. So for those of you that don't know, I'm Steve. This is Liz. Uh, together with uh, the leadership team here at Riverside Elim, and it's Thursday the 30th of April, here to give you an update one week before Lizzie's 40th birthday. <laughs> Yeah, first of all, we want to say a massive thank you again for all the donations for Food yes. Bank. We are just being blown away by how much is being dropped off. So thank you for your continued giving to that um, and for vulnerable families locally. It's yeah. amazing that we can keep supporting. So thank you. Thank you. That's right. And tomorrow on the 1st of May, <coughs> Friday, um, Barry, who's our youth leader, he's also the director of Wild Forest Youth for Christ, and he is hosting a prayer evening for revival across the Wild Forest. Great. Uh, we've sent an email out inviting people from Riverside to join, so please look out for that email in your inbox, or if you're interested, email Barry, our youth leader, at barry at riversideelim.com. Brilliant. And also, something else Barry's doing that you should have, those of you in Riverside should have had an email about, is we have got a quiz. Yes. Brilliant. A family quiz. Saturday night, 7pm. If you want to join in on that, you need to send Barry an email and he'll send you an invite. So again, that email address, just so the world will now be able to contact Barry, is Barry at riversideelim.com so drop him an email there is limited spaces on that yeah. so it will be first come first served but please try and get involved i'm sure if there isn't enough space this time you can look at doing another one so drop him an email uh, to get involved in that that'll be great fun that's right and we know barry's really excited about just involving some of the wider riverside family in the quiz that he set up for youth families so please get involved in that also on Sunday, we are continuing our Running With God series. Uh, I started the series, Barry spoke last week. This week, Liz will be speaking to us. But one thing that we're loving is the fact that you are sending us your exercising pictures. And remember, exercise doesn't just have to happen inside. Exercise can happen outside as well. And I meant to say that vice versa, but you get what I'm saying. So please, whether you're indoors or outdoors, whether it's raining or sun shining, please be taking pictures of yourself exercising and send them to us so we can get them up on our Running With God wall as we're all exercising together. Oh, there's been some great ones yes. this week. Just wait for Sunday. But also, as well as kind of the updates that we're doing each week, as well as our gatherings online of the prayer, um, last night and Sunday nights and also Sunday mornings. We're also sending you other communication. Loads. We're sending you emails. If you're part of Riverside, you should be getting things like the Bible notes that we email out every week. Um, you should be getting other updates on different things that are going on. Our new Monday, Mystery Monday meeting. Ooh. Get the title right. <laughs> Mystery Monday meeting that we started this week. We're sending that out to you by email as well. Um, we're going to do a finance update. That's coming out today. Yeah. Different things like that. So please, one of the things we'd say at this time is keep an eye yes. on your email inbox because that's the easiest and, and quickest way sometimes for us to communicate with you over different things that are going on. So keep an eye on that. If you're not getting our emails and you want to, then please drop us an email to either Liz or Steve at riversideelim.com. So obviously Liz at for me or Steve at for Steve and we can add you onto those lists to make sure you get that. Also Zoom, we'll be sending that out today as well. Those of you that wanna do Zoom next week, that also comes out on email and all the dates and times of when we're meeting for that will be on there. That's so right. keep your eyes on your email. Please, we want to stay as connected as possible, but yeah. we can only stay as connected with you as you allow us to be. So yeah. please send us your email addresses and please read your emails and stay informed. Uh, and just something that I was reading this morning, I, as many of you know, I'm reading the Psalms at the moment. And Psalm 51 there were some words in there which just thought was a prayer. I thought all of us could be praying right now. Verse 10 says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Yeah. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Mm. 
I think we all need to be praying these sort of prayers at the moment. We need God's steadfast spirit. We need his presence. We need his joy. And we need God's sustenance. So I want to encourage you today, be reading Psalm 51 verses 10 to 12 and pray them, knowing that God will meet you when we pray his word together. Yes, he will. Yes. So thank you all for listening to our update today. Thank you just for paying attention. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your communications, your encouragements, your photographs, your giving, your food bank. Thank you for the way you stay connected. But please don't stop. We want to stay connected together. So have a great day. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And we cannot wait to see you soon. See you later.